Well, good morning. Welcome to our online church service for the Church of the Apostles. Uh, we hope that you were able to get our email this past week communicating that we wouldn't be worshiping or gathering together at the building uh, this morning, uh, nor will we be gathering next uh, Sunday, May the 3rd. Um, but we are looking forward to uh, coming up with a plan for us to be able to gather together and worship together uh, very soon. Uh, but we do miss you guys so incredibly much. And we're praying for y'all and are really encouraged by all the phone conversations and text messages and FaceTime and Zoom meetings that we've been having. Uh, but that just doesn't replace being able to see one another. And so we're really looking forward to being able to see you very soon. Uh, but please continue to join us for those times that we are gathering um, via Zoom. Uh, today, the students will gather at 2 o'clock uh, for their student meeting. On Tuesday, 7.30, guys, jump on for the men's uh, Bible study through Galatians. It's been so good. So please jump in and join us with that. On uh, Wednesday nights at 7, we're having our sermon Q&A, uh, a time where we're just debriefing and having a conversation about the past week's sermon. And uh, that's been really rich as well. Uh, this week, while I was uh, meeting with JP and talking about this week's sermon uh, in Psalm 40, uh, I was just encouraged and led to think about Philippians 4. And so for our call to worship uh, this morning, I want to read Philippians 4, 4 through uh, 10 to you. And then I'll pray for us and uh, we'll prepare our hearts for worship Philippians 4, verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is anything excellent, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Let me pray for us. Uh, God, thank you so much for this beautiful promise. God, what does it mean to truly understand, to have your peace, to have your rest? Even in the midst of unknown and even in the midst of uh, the mountaintop experiences and the valley experiences, Lord, I pray that we as a people that follow you, that desire uh, for your will to be done, that we would find your peace, that we'd find rest in you. God, that your word would be nurturing our souls every day. Lord, that we would be quick to, to surrender and to uh, pray and ask for your will to be done, that we'd find comfort, Lord, in, in just that conversation with you. And then that we'd also find that great comfort in the community that you placed us in. Brothers and sisters in Christ, encouraging and affirming and pointing one another back to your truth. God, we desire your peace. And so this morning, Holy Spirit, I pray you'd lead our time, that you'd guide our minds and our hearts just to be in step with what you are doing and to, to desire the things that you desire for your glory, Jesus. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful morning of worship together.